Welcome back, everybody. We're going to be continuing our Bug Snacks playthrough. We played this the day after the PlayStation 5 came out, um, so the 13th. So you can go check out that if you want to catch up or not. Um, we only played it for about, I think it was like an hour and a half, maybe two hours. So we're not deep into the game. We're just in the second zone, which I, if I'm remembering, it's something Gorge. Uh, let's look at the map. We're in Scorched Gorge. So we're going to be continuing and looking for some new snacks, or bug snacks, in here. So let's just get right into it. Please excuse me, I just need to figure out how to play again. <laughs> it has been like a week and a half since we last played. I need to remember how to bring up the camera. There we go. It's R3. Thick. They're too small to catch in the trap, but maybe some heat will puff them up. Alright, what was this big guy up here? Scorpenio? This snack lobs fiery peppers at anything that catches its attention. Turn up the game audio. There we go. Oh, got a person here. You just take a picture of this guy. A spuddy. Protects its territory by charging at intruders with its powerful jaws. <laughs> Alright, see who this guy is. I think it was charging me. Hmm. Yes? Oh, goodness. Huh. I didn't notice you there. Hi, how are ya? I'm Triffany Ladablog. You caught me doing some archaeology. Try not to step on the skulls, ya? Yeah? Ya? Yeah. <laughs> uh, let's chat. You haven't run into Wambus, have ya? I swear, that man has a head harder than granite. She has a very Minnesota accent. Uh, will you come back to Snacksburg? You want me to come back to Snacksburg? Gosh, look around ya. There's a whole civilization buried here, and I barely dug one hole. But I could use a trip to the old research tent once I get a few samples. See these skeletons? Something's fossilized in their stomachs. Looks a bit like a local bug snack. I'll need some live ribblepeeds. If you wouldn't mind, could you help me find some? They like to hide on the walls in these here ruins. <laughs> Alright, so we gotta find these. How's it going, Lilith? Yeah, it kinda oh. has a, the same kind of art style as Slime Rancher. Hmm. Alright, so we need to catch three Ribblepeeds. Whatever the heck that is. Oh, it's a, <laughs> it's a centipede made out of ribs. <laughs> It likes to hide and sit still. Maybe some sauce could get it to move. A ribblepeed. <laughs> Alright, nothing else in here. Alright, I think it probably doesn't like ketchup, but let's just try... Yeah, it doesn't like ketchup. Loves... Maybe that's hot sauce. I can't tell what that is. They open the journal entry. Hmm. Alright. Let's keep looking around. See if there's anything else to scan. Get away from me, boo. Get out of here. Uh, I haven't really been in the mood to play Astroneer. Oh. I don't think 
I don't think I can pick this up with this guy. Oh, jeez. Alright, what's down here? Hey, you! There, up here! Follow me and I'll show you the deal of a lifetime! Okay. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't I haven't really been in the mood to play Astroneer. Um I like hover over the game icon and I'm like, ah, I don't know. Oh here we go. Here's that hot sauce for the river bead. Go get that. Got him. Alright, where'd she go? Bring up the slingshot and put the hot sauce on it. I think if we put out the snack trap first, we can probably make him come down to it. There we go. So we just have to catch two more. There's one. There's two. Oh, he got me. Oh, it's still coming for me. Alright, there isn't one in here. I take a scan of these. Desert Ruin mur Mural. This mural depicts Grumpuses opening a section of wall near the river. They are carrying some sort of parcel. The mural depicts Grumpuses opening. Oh, it's the same thing. Okay. Yeah, definitely not anytime soon. Angel. I don't have any plans to play Ashenir right now. Okay, let's get this. Oh, actually, I can't pick him up. Take care. Let me just feed one of these to her. Um, we'll give her a white rudel. There we go. Now I can pick up this. There we go. Isn't that nifty? Oh, I can make her whole arm. <laughs> the Ribipede. Let's make her lower leg. So cool. Oh, that's curious. Ribblepeeds only look like they have bones. They're squishy <laughs> all the way through. So what did these fellas eat then? Well, like Grandma always said, if you want answers, dig through their sock drawer. I want to get into that dwelling over there, but the door's blocked up. If you could do something to get that door open, do that'd something. be real swell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Angel, you, you feed the Grumpuses oh. bug snacks and then they th their body parts turn into them. <laughs> Alright, nothing else was in there. Talk to Triffany. Oh, I open the kind. ruins. Meet me inside. Oh, okay. Get out! These murals are still preserved. As far as I knew, we were the first grumps to settle this island. But here we got a thousand years of history unaccounted for. Generations of grumpuses who hunted and ate bug snacks. Just a cosmic reminder that nothing really lasts, eh? Hmm, a? what's this? 
Looks like there's a hidden chamber somewhere in the canyon. Could that be where they stored bug snacks? Would you mind finding that chamber? And if there's bug snacks there, please bring them to me. Have a good one. Sure thing, Triffany. What's up here? Oh, a bunger. Hey, buddy. Oh. Some more hot sauce. Let's grab that. What is that thing? A cheap hoof. These things never land. If only there was a way to catch them midair. Cheesy patch. This residue of cheese dust and chips is evidence of a bug snacks. Oh, that's the oh. Come on, bunger. Look. Get out of here, guy. Oh, who's that? Hello, friend. Welcome. Bondo. Come on over. Take a look. I assure you, you won't be disappointed. <laughs> the name's Cromdo Face, the one and only salesman in paradise. Can I help you? Friend, have I got a bridge to sell you? Beautiful, isn't it? Hardwood? New construction, <laughs> Hardwood. Eh? Oh, baby, what a bridge! All yours for just 100 bug snacks. What do you say? 100 bug snacks? Are you kidding me? I don't want or need a bridge. Whoa, 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 whoa. Can't afford it? No problem. I got a specialty item just for you. Cheap is free. Follow me, pal. Feast your eyes on this beautiful lunch pad. Totally for sale and not at all stolen. You're itching to try it out, I can tell. Eh, uh, my windmills over there got stuck. Why don't you, why don't you take it for a spin and knock him into shape? <laughs> you got the lunch pad switched to it with L1. Okay, aim. Place a tool on the lunch pad to load it. Oh, aim with L2. I was using the wrong thing. Okay, so I need to put... Here we go. There we go. I got the hang of it now. <laughs> There's no such thing as a free lunch. Pad. Hey, you can pay me three of those cheap hoofs. They think they're so great. Flying around. Let's see how they like flying into my mouth. All right, I'm guessing that we launched the trap with the new launch pad. Oh, the cheese poof is gone. What's this thing like again? Um, man, oh, it hates other other spuddies. Let's catch one of these little guys. to move it over a little bit. Whoop. Where'd it go? Oh, 
Oh, I missed it. Oh, maybe I think it's too small for the trap, actually. Huh. Whoa, like throw stuff at it. Can I throw a rock at one of these guys? Oh. What about one of these guys? Oh. Waited a second too long. Oh, did nothing. I should be able to make him run into a wall. Huh, didn't really do anything to him. Alright, we might have to sleep in one of the Oh, there's a cheese poof. Just gonna say we might have to sleep in one of the beds to extend the time. Or change the time. Missed it. Get out of here, Spuddy. <laughs> Do that. And then put that there. And then let me move up here a little bit. Oh, the Spuddy just hit it. You jerk. I don't even know where he sent it. This cheese poof. Where'd he go? There he is. Huh. Not sure what I'm doing wrong. We'll try and get this one. What's that bug snacks over there? A sweet fryer. Hmm. Alright, stick that there. Try and get this guy. There we go. A white cheese food. I think I have the hang of it now. So let me retrieve, retrieve that. And then we'll place it like right here if we can. There we go. And there's one up there near the cactus again. So let's go grab that one. And then we'll have three cheese poof. Oh. Fell off the ridge. Gonna put this right up here so that the bunger can't hit it. There we go. We got three of them now. So let's go back up to whatever that guy's name was. 
Forget it. Grab some more hot sauce as we go by. Bunga, bunga, bunga. Here you go, buddy. to get your paws on that bridge. So, I'll cut you a deal, friend. I want a fighter, but it's on this ridiculously tall rock, and I wasn't exactly blessed with stilts for legs. <laughs> stilts. All right, he's talking about this guy over here. Oh, I was thinking I was gonna take the jump pad up over there, but I can just shoot a trap over there also. Wind took it. Whoa! Oh, I'm on fire! Oh! Oh, he broke out! I have to wait to replace it. There we go. That scorpion put me on fire. Alright. Feeding the sweet rider. We'll do his other foot. <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. Pleasure doing business. You're my best and only customer. I'm starting to think I should get a better location back in Snacksburg. But uh, moving all this inventory across the desert is real sweaty work. I'll need a way to keep cool. If you make both my feet into big bobsicles, uh, then walk in the hot Bopsicles. sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bopsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna have to go to another map for that. But let's switch it back to the other mission for Triffany. Find and enter the hidden ruins. It's probably past this bridge, I assume. Whoa! Alright, let me see if I can launch myself. Oh! Whoa! What was that thing? Oh, jeez. It was like a little white guy. Like a little... looked like a, a white mushroom cap or something. Let's see, looks like he's in here. Oh! See if I can get him to come. Oh, you stupid scorpion. He just destroyed my trap. Wonder how I get rid of him. Let's try and feed him hot sauce or something. Oh, he doesn't like hot sauce. Um, what about ranch? Pull him off. <laughs> that did nothing. I put the trap here. Oh, he doesn't like that. Oh, he lit him on fire. All right. Now let's see if we can get that little guy. Oh. Ah, oh, he went the other way. trap a little bit. There we go. That'll get him. I need to scam him. <laughs> scam him. <laughs> Scan him first. A pop tick. There we go. Biddy boom. Find and enter the hidden ruins. Bunger, 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 bunger. 
Oh, they like ketchup. Let me shoot this ketchup here. Because this looks like maybe the door would be right there. No, nope. I shot ketchup over here, guy. Oh, no. Okay. Take a look at what's in here. Nothing. I wonder if she'll give me a clue where it is. Would you mind finding that chamber? And if there's bug snacks there, please bring them to me. All right. She's no help. How do I capture these guys? What do you think I was up to on top of that canyon? It wasn't for the view, pal. So they love ketchup. So if I put that there, he should like that. Yeah. So let me see if I do a snack trap and then ketchup it. No. I think maybe I can't catch these guys with ketchup. I wonder what's in there. He's going a far ways away. Oh, that's coming out there. Let me put a trap here. In case he pushes something out. Oh. No, you stupid thing. A green peel bug. Come back here, dude. Alright, we should probably head back to Snackburg and deposit these extra bug snacks so that we can increase our inventory space. What are you doing, Cromdo? Hi. All right, where could this hidden ruin be? Oh wait, the bridge is broken. Let's see what he says about that. Bug snacks and a cherry on this grump Sunday. If I can make it back home with a pack full of these babies, <laughs> I'll be a bona fide celebrity. Bona fide celebrity. If you make my feet oh yeah, he wants to be a bobsicle. Uh, then bobsicles. walking the hot sands would be a breeze. But I gotta warn you, you won't find bobsicles in the desert. Better look elsewhere, pal. Alright. I don't think we can find bobsicles anywhere. So I've been to Garden Grove, Flavor Falls, Simmering Springs. So there must be like a, a wintry area, I'm assuming. I'm gonna guess that the hidden ruin is past the bridge. But I'm just surprised I can't shoot my- Oh no, I could try and shoot myself. I forgot the scorpion hit me. Oh, it doesn't- doesn't push you far. So we need to get rid of the scorpion. Let, let's head back to Snacksburg. And deposit these bug snacks.
And then let me just check the other missions to see if I didn't need any of these. Um, side missions did those interviews. Green Day, what she need? Three green grape mosquitoes. So I don't have any of those. Return the Grumps to Snackburg. Conduct interviews. All right, yeah, we can we can get rid of all the bug snacks we have oh, hey, in buddy. our inventory. I'm glad you're oh. here. Uh, I've been talking to the other Grumpuses, and uh, I think they could use your help. Not okay, just with chores and stuff, but you know, uh, personal issues. Uh, it can be hard dealing with your problems alone, you know? It won't get you closer to Lisburg, but it'd mean a lot if you could help the others. Okay. Alright, let's put them all in here. There we go. I'm not sure how many more... Oh, right there. We need four more to increase our... Our inventory. Everything okay? I only came out us? here for Trifony. But sometimes I wonder if she'd do the same for me. I only came out here for Trifony. But sometimes I wonder if she'd do the same for me. Get along oh, Trifony. I, <laughs> I just made that connection. Jesus. All right, let's go back down to the beachy area. Simmering Springs. See if there's any other bug snacks we can catch. We need green grape mosquitoes. All right, we caught both of those. I should probably come back here at night time. What are you doing, Wiggle? Find me a grape skeeter. They're too fast for Grambler or I to catch, but maybe you can find a way to slow them down. Okay. Didn't do anything. <laughs> Just bounces off his head. All right, nothing in here we re we need right now. Let me just grab this chocolate since we're here. He doesn't need anything. He didn't need anything. Alright, let me go back out to the scorched area. What, does she need hey. anything? No, you're Later. good. Alright, back out to this place. Maybe we can actually find the hidden ruins. Look around a little more. I think I need to pick up the one of the scorpions so that I can use that jump pad a little bit closer. Let me just search around here first. Hidden ruins. It looks like maybe it's near the bridge. Let me go look around there. I'm gonna go up first. Oh, that looks breakable. I think that's it. Let, let's go get a... Um, what, what were these things called? buddy. Let's get this guy to follow us. Oh, 
Oh no, he liked to catch up. Pretty sure he liked to catch up, didn't he? Hey, he loves catch up. Come on, Spuddy. Oh, maybe that's just too far away for him. Alright, maybe there's one closer over here. Because it looks like this is breakable right here. Let's send the buggy ball. Oh no, this one's breakable. Here we go. Come back here, bud. There we go. Oh, look at those guys. retrieve that so that he goes away. Oh no, he turned around. It takes a while for that guy to get here. That's a long tunnel for that. Alright, there's nothing in it. Pick him up. Let's get this weenie worm. To Triffany. Feed her one of the weenie worms. <laughs> A nose? Oh, teeth. Let's put it on teeth. <laughs> the taste is a little off. I'm wondering how long those snacks were in there. Did you find anything else in the chamber? A lot of corpses. Mm, that's a little intense for an ancient storage shed. You know, that just might have been a burial chamber. But if that's where they put their dead, why are all these bones out in the open? Hmm. Well, I gotta solve this mystery. Sorry, but I won't be going back to Snacksburg. What? What about Wombus? If Wombus wants me back, well, he can come out here and tell me himself. <sighs> you might have heard things haven't been too good between us. I keep telling myself I'll get around to C&M, but it's just easier to uh, stay out here with the bones. What about your research tent? You have to come back eventually. Wambus dressed a cactus to look like you. <laughs> Wambus dressed a cactus oh, to look like dear. you. I guess the big love really misses me. Well, I miss him too, but I'm still mad. I thought maybe time would help, but time's just pushing me closer to the grave, and I'm not feeling any better. I suppose I could try being among the living for a while. Oh, she's going back. Cool. I wonder if I can shoot it, the snack trap at the scorpion and catch him. Uh, nope. Oh no. Get to the water. 
Oh my, oh, oh, it goes out eventually. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's head back to Snacksburg. Oh, her research tent. It's all opened up now. You're back. Oh, had to come by and pick up supplies. Is that a new garden you got there? Yep. Are you gonna stay for long? Well, that depends. Is there any reason for me to stick around? Man, Trivi, I'm sorry. <laughs> I've been a dang fool. Yep. It's just, I can't grow much out in that desert. Yeah, and you got a lot of growing to do. I wasn't going to give up my dig site either. We may have different goals sometimes, and we may not be in the same place. But that doesn't mean we're not together. I guess I could leave my farm every now and again and come see your dig site. Uh, maybe even lend a helping paw. You better. Now give me a kiss, you hot dish. Gladly. Mm. Welcome <laughs> home, Triffy. Kiss her with those hot dog teeth. <laughs> What's that now? Nothing. All right. She has a new mission for us now. Or we could probably interview her. Oh yeah, have oh, time for sure. an interview? Sounds like a real hoot. A real hoot? <laughs> All right, who are you? Who are you? Oh, I go digging up bits of history and try to piece them back together. It's usually not so dramatic. Just an old coin or a severed toe under a rock. But this island's chock full of finds. Um, and your name? Oh goodness, my name! I'm Triffany Lottablog. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? I heard about the trip to Snack Tooth and thought, well, I could keep scraping at odds and ends till the day I die. Or I could really get out there. Try following in Grandma's footsteps. Grandma? Who's Grandma? You might have heard of Veronica Lottablog. An adventuring type just like Lisbert. She filled up our old house with relics and sketches, taught me to love history. Bless her heart. Thoughts on bug snacks? Amazing, don't you think? We got paintings of bug snacks from a thousand years ago. Grumpus civilization rises, collapses, and turns to dust. But the bug snacks, they always stay. They are walking records of history. Why'd you leave town? It's less I left and more I stopped coming back. I wasn't even there when the fight broke out. Imagine me coming home to find Wambus all red in the face and at Gramble's throat. Is that why you and Wambus split? No, no, nothing so simple as that. No, no. I wanted him to come with me to the ruins, honest. But he wouldn't give up his farm, not even for me. <laughs> Stubborn fool. And any info on Lisbert? Lovely gal, that Lisbert. Wasn't often we'd both be in town at the same time. And when we were, we'd usually be in the medical tent, getting treated by Agabel. We'd swap stories about what we found and show off our grisliest scars. You two got injured that often? Adventuring is a dangerous business. Archaeology less so, but the Lottablog method can be unconventional. Bug the heck out of Agabel. She never liked to see anyone hurt. Least of all, Liz. What happened to Lizberg? You know, out here, it's only a matter of time before you fall in a hole or get wedged in a crevice. <laughs> Especially with all these earthquakes shifting the geography around. Not to be morbid, but it could be a thousand years before somebody finds where Lisbert wound up. Thanks, Trifney. I learned a lot. Oh, you're too kind. I'm just happy to chip in and solve a mystery or two. 
Speaking of mysteries. You figure something out? You betcha! Lisbert stashed a journal in the ruins for safekeeping. Ooh. I can't get it open without damaging whatever's inside. I'm thinking you might have better luck with it. Anywho, I've nearly talked your ear off. Better get back to work, eh? Eh? Shifty has a locked journal. You need a key to open it. I don't think I have any keys, right? Oh, I do. You picked up Liz's notes on a secret code. Check your journal for details. Okay. Half of a code. Looks like you need to weigh down the pressure plates in order. First left. Unfortunately, it cuts off there. Okay. Oh, there's still one... There's still a bug snacks in Garden Grove that we haven't found. And there's still four we haven't captured. Hmm. Alright. You have any missions? I gotta admit, it's nice having Wamby around again. we will just have to wait and see if he really learned his lesson. Have a good one. How's it going? Going good, Philbo. Everything good? Going good, Wambus. All right, let's put this bug snacks in there. Hey, Wambus. Sure is a nice day, isn't it? <laughs> it's cool how they like talk to each other. All right. Can't collect those. So let me look at the missions again. Cold feet, we can't do that because we we have no like frozen areas. We need to get three grape skeetos for her. Oh, pin. There we go. Okay, let's go look for some green grape skeetos. And I bet they come out at night. So we'll have to sleep at probably um what was his name? Well, no, Philbo's the mayor. I forget the other little guy. little The little purple or pink. But we can sleep in his bed over here. And we'll do... We'll do midnight. And see if they show up around then. Because I think they're more of a, a nighttime bug. Whoa! What was that thing? Did you guys see that up there? It was like a... It was just a person entirely composed of bug snacks. What the heck? That was scary. Oh, there's a green gr uh, grape mosquito. This one plumps up and slows down if it eats another bug snacks. Loves chocolate. Okay, so if we do this, pop that down, and then hit it with chocolate. See if that makes it go in there. No, it's not. Alright. We can try and shoot the launch pad at it. Hmm. Alright, it wants to... It says it slows down if it eats another snack so let's try and get it to eat a strabby or something oh that was a rasby all right let me just try that one more time Oh, I hit the tree. Alright, I'm gonna put that out. Alright, and then... Can we place one of these guys? No, we can just release them. Oh, 
What if I did this? What if I just shot some chocolate like on the ground? No. Weird, they just attacked the trap. Hmm. I'm not sure how to catch those guys. What if I hit them with the chocolate? Oh, there we go. I just have to have them eat the strabby. There we go. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> they get fat. <laughs> Alright, so we got that guy. We've caught one of them before. We've caught the orange peel. We just need one more grape. Oh no, we only had to give her one grape mosquito. Here you go, wiggle. Um, where should we put it? Her left horn. Her head. No, we'll do. We'll do her left hand. <laughs> The colors are striking, no? And now the ideals will flow. Mm -hmm. They're gonna flow. Ooh, any second now, come on now. Uh, I assure you. Uh, oh, who am I kidding? I have nothing. There simply isn't a snack on this beach that can give me the inspiration that I need. Which is why you should look in the desert. I need a look that pops, a look that's hot. Darling, I would be so delighted if you could go to the Scorched Gorge and catch two pop ticks. All right, Wiggle, we can do that. And on our way, we can drop off these two bug snacks. Music in this game is so calm. Oh, ran right by it. Oh no, I didn't. It's up here. Why do I doubt myself? <laughs> My mind knew where I was going. There we go. So we just need one more bug snacks and we can increase our inventory. So let's head to the scorched gorge. Get two of those pop ticks she's looking for. And then hopefully that'll be enough to bring her back to Snacksburg. The Scorched Gorge. Let's see what this says about these guys again. They're too small to catch in a trap, but maybe some heat will puff them up. Maybe some heat. So if I hit him with hot sauce, that'll make the scorpion hit him. <laughs> oh, come back here. Oh, they turn into those guys. Okay. Oh, oh you scorpion. Oh, he burnt down the, the bush too. Oh, he's going back in it. Okay, what's the camera say about these guys? How do I get rid of them? Anything that catches its attention. Oh, journal entry. Hmm. Not sure how to catch that guy. So I have nothing to... I've tried ranch. I've tried hot sauce on it. Could hit it with ketchup. That did nothing. What about chocolate? No, nothing. Yeah, he's too big, too big to catch in the uh, trap. Oh, he made, <laughs> he hit that so far away. Oh, 
Whoa, what are those things? Crystal Sweetie Fly. Oh. Get out of here, Spuddy. Let's wait for it to go to sleep. Then we'll shoot the net up there. There it goes. All right, crystal sweet. Oh, jeez. Oh. Thank you, Spuddy. <laughs> Got up here. Don't know if there's anything worthwhile up here, but we'll take a look. Nope. Is that the rib? Oh yeah, it's the rib. Let me just catch one of these guys. And then they liked... What'd they like? Ketchup? Oh no, hot sauce. Okay. There we go. So we have one of them now. A Ribblepede. You just need to get that, um... Little popcorn guy. Oh, maybe if I shoot... Oh, let me re retrieve it. Spuddy, I swear. You better leave. I'll shoot the trap over there. Oh, I missed it. Oh, oh jeez. Oh no, he's on fire. Got him. Oh, I can't get it. Oh, he got out. I have to wait till he's not on fire, I think. Or else the scorpion's just gonna hit it. No, 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 no. Ah, oh, you stupid scorpion. What if? Oh, that's gonna break too. Alright, what if we shoot a trap at the scorpion? I think I tried that. I'm not sure. Oh, we got him! Go, go, go! Oh, he got it just in time. Oh no. Oh no. I think it would have worked if we were a little closer. So let me see how close I can get without him freaking out. Oh, he just lights it on fire too quick. There has to be a way to, like, remove his, his flame. Jerk. Oh. Oh, he popped. That one. So we just have to get this other one. He's gonna hit it. You little... What if I shot something else at him? Like if we picked up a... one of the rocks or something. Where is one of those? 
There they are. All right. Put this on the launcher and then launch one of the rocks at him. See if that does something. Missed him. Oh, keep missing him. Did I get it? Oh, I missed him. Oh, and he. <laughs> That has to be the way to get him. Has to be. All right, let's just try and get catch the pop tick. I need him to come get away from the bush because the scorpion's just gonna just gonna keep attacking our trap. Let me pick this up. Now he's gonna pop into a pop tick. What the heck? Where did he go? That was weird. <laughs> he just disappeared. Cheap poof. All right, let's go and try and find a, a pop tick somewhere else. We just need one more. Oh, you know, I can put one in here. This guy might be too far away for the scorpion. Yeah, I think he's a little too far away. Come on, pop tick. Oh, now he's trying to hit him. There we go, this should hit him. Perfect. Alright, let's place a trap somewhere. Oh! I couldn't click it quick enough. Oh, he, go he went into the bush all the way over there. Alright, let's see. Hopefully the scorpion can't- oh no, he's gonna hit that. Ah, oh, you turd. Yeah, little. There must be a way to distract him. Maybe, oh, maybe the buggy ball? Weird, he doesn't mind the buggy ball. That's interesting. He does not like me. <laughs> Alright, let's try and get him again. Oops. Come on. Go get hit by the scorpion. See him any minute now. Oh, he washed it off though. 
Oh, not me, Scorpion. What are you doing? Oh, where'd this little guy come from? Ooh, done. <laughs> Let's go feed those to uh, Wiggle. And we'll put the other two bug snacks in our inventory into the donation box. Because so I think we only need one more to increase our inventory space. Hey, how's it going? It's going good. Okay, Rebel Peed. The size of your heart has grown and so has your inventory space. Keep donating to keep growing. Alright, how many more now? 18? Alright, put that in there. And back out to the beach. Alright, where are you, Wiggle? Oh, there she is. I'm here with your pop ticks. Let's give her pop tick feet. <laughs> Looks like she's wearing like fuzzy fuzzy socks or something. <laughs> oh. Oh. I look ridiculous and I don't have a single new tune in my head. What a woeful journey I've taken. Darling, I apologize for putting you through such an ordeal. It was all for the sake of art. And art is priceless. I can see that this simply isn't working, and I believe I know why. Oh, not nearly enough. Oh, she's gonna overdose on bug snacks. Though it pains me to return without a new single. I shall face the music and greet my adoring fans. Aloha, oh, perfect. Darling. She's going back. All right, let's go back to the town, too. So we can probably interview her. I'm surprised there isn't any bug snacks in the like ponds like these candy patch this pile of sugar and sticks is evidence of bug snacks this bug snack seems to appear during the day but not when it's raining it's probably the sweetie fly right let me grab this chocolate all right she's going back there she goes we'll head back ourselves Oh, Philbo's got something. What's up, Philbo? How's it going? You got that party look again. Snacksburg is looking pretty busy tonight. Seems like a great time to gather everybody around the old campfire. Yeah, let's do it. Ah, uh, nothing like a campfire, eh, buddies? Beat sitting in the dark. I tell you, there's some spooky stuff out there. <laughs> there ain't nothing out there, just bug snacks and trees. You're just yellow. I'm not <laughs> yellow, I'm pink. And there's really something stalking me, watching me from the shadows. Keeps me up at night. I've seen something similar up on top of the canyon. Real curious. Probably just a wild animal. Darling, there are no animals here. None but we, that is. I, uh, I too saw the thing. Can we talk about something <laughs> sure else? Sure you did, Phil, You know, the desert grumps, they had some odd rituals. They take their old and dying and seal them in secret caves. <gasps> Whatever for? Were the dead going to rise from the grave? No, not as such. It's more the bodies would just disappear. What? How? The writing's kind of vague, sadly. All I know 
is they had a rash of vanishing corpses. Long as they were exposed, well, heck, even if they buried them in the sand, the body wouldn't be there the next day. Though some of the time, there'd be a little left. Just a few bones. That's creepy. I'm getting a chill just thinking about it. You're getting a chill because the fire's gone out. <laughs> oh, you're right. Uh, hey, buddy, would you mind picking up some firewood? It's over by the mill. <laughs> Fire mill. I mean, <laughs> firewood over by the mill. Where's the mill? It's gonna be something spooky, isn't there? Is this the firewood? I heard something. Okay, where were we? Um, Triffany, you were saying something about the zombies? No, no zombies. Listen, zombies. spooky as the disappearing stiffs may be, that's just a story I read on a wall. We got nothing to fear from the dead. I'm more worried about the living. The living? Obviously, we're not the first grumpuses to make it to Snack Tooth. So what makes us think all the others are dead? I've seen those chewed up skeletons around the island. We all know something kills grumpuses out there, and it has teeth. <laughs> Bug snacks don't have teeth. And like Wiggle said, there aren't animals out here other than us. She's not wrong about the bones. Ah, 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 time out. I gotta use a little grumps room. Now hold on. You saying grumpuses turn cannibal? That's ridiculous. We ain't got the stomachs for it. Floofty eats Grumpus. Floofty? No way that's true. Oh, it's true. Late one night, I saw Floofty dragging something along the beach. When I got closer, I saw what it was. A severed leg. And as I watched, they held it up to their mouth. And then, they took a bite out of it. Uh. Uh, don't mess with my head, Beth. <laughs> You're gonna scare me snackless. Oh, Grump! Is somebody gonna check on Philbo? I got him. Where is he? Philbo! Where'd you go? Was he getting more wood? Oh, was he in the bathroom? Oh. Who's in there? Uh, sorry, I, uh, I got a little too spooked, and I came here to calm down. Who's in the bathroom? Huh? I, I don't know what you're talking about, buddy. Are you feeling okay? You look like you've seen a ghost. <laughs> <clears throat> well, uh, let's keep it together and get back to the fire. What? F what? What? What the heck? Look at that fuzzy tummy. <laughs> I think it's a beer belly. All right, back to the fire. Sorry about that. What I miss? Can we just quit it with the spooky stuff? I don't think I can get any sleep. Get Darling, sleep. calm yourself. For I know what lurks in the shadows. <laughs> oh, it's the queen of bug snacks. A bug Sit snack down. bigger than any we've ever <laughs> seen. She conducts this delicious orchestra. Bringing music to our mouths And once we're dancing to her tune She gobbles us up? That's <laughs> precisely right, darling! This story makes no sense. Why would Bugsnacks have a monarchy? Oh, exactly. Rambus, it's just a title! 
I've seen bug snacks big enough to eclipse the moon. What else would you call that? Um, a hallucination? <laughs> Believe what you will, Wambus. For I know what I've seen. Regardless of what sort of monster you believe in, something is lurking out there. And it's only a matter of time before it comes for us. Her popcorn feet look ridiculous. <laughs> oh, jeez. It's coming for us. I said it's coming for us. Oh, the bridge is down now. No need to freak out. It's probably just a uh, something safe. I'm freaking out, Wimbus. I'm not getting eaten <laughs> by some monster or floofty just because you won't admit you're scared. Don't worry, Granville. We'll go check it out. If something goes wrong, sacrifice Bilbo first. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's get the noise. Take it slow. Broke the door open. Alright, let's check the upstairs. What is this? Chandlo? Whoa, it's Philbo. And somebody new? Hey, how are you? Doing better these days, yeah. Uh, Snacksburg is coming back together. I noticed. I saw the fire and I thought, whoa, Snacksburg's on fire. So I came down here to check on it. <laughs> then I remembered I left some stuff at the mill, so here I am. Is Shelda around? Oh, no, nobody's seen Shelda since the, uh, the, the fight. Major bummer, bro. The heck was the fight? I could use her wisdom right now. Anyway, can't stay and hang. I gotta get all this stuff back to Snorpy right away. You know how he gets. Don't you at least want to say hi to everybody? Ah, uh, if I do that, they're gonna want me to stay. Catch you later, bros! But, but I do <laughs> want you to stay! Oh, darn it. Oh, well. Let's get back and tell the others. Wait for me, Philbo. Don't worry, folks. I'm fine. <laughs> Chanlo's back. Um... Oh, and, and the noise was just Chandler. Oh, that's a relief. So that settles it. Things are good and safe and boring. But wait, what if Chandler was the queen of bug snacks? <laughs> oh, please, that brute doesn't have the grace required for royalty. Yeah, if anybody's queen around here, it's me. You know, the desert grumps had a history of matriarchal leadership. Real fascinating system they had. Every year, the ladies would go hunting, and the one to bring home the biggest bug snack was the new head honcho. How's it going? What? Tiffany, hello. Nice to see ya. That was weird. It's like the cutscene just <laughs> ended abruptly. What well, are you two doing? Dear, are you free for a little stargazing tonight? Uh, sorry, I can't. I gotta watch my little ones. My little. Of course you do. Come on, Gramble. Surely you can take a night off. Nobody's desperate enough to steal from you. Anymore? Maybe. But even still, my kin might wander off if I'm not here. Oh, it's only natural, dear. I'm sure they long to return to the wild. <laughs> don't say that. This is their home. They, they love it here. They just get lost sometimes, is all. Ugh, is all? Whatever you say, darling. Let me know if you're ever free. Alright. Did she have a mission? Oh, yeah, she did. 
Oh yeah, no, we can interview her. I'm no cool. stranger to interviews, darling. Hit me with your best shot. Hit me with your best shot. Interview. Who are you? You've certainly heard my number one single, a Do the Wiggle. Can't say I have. Oh, I had it stuck in my head for a solid month. You see, Wiggle Wiggle Bottom needs no introduction, darling. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? Well, I'm here to gorge myself on a new life experience. To get my creative juices flowing, as it were. So your juice isn't flowing? Oh, well... You know, no hit can stay on top forever. And I'm afraid the audience didn't care for Wiggles World or Wiggle Baby one more time and... <laughs> <laughs> I've been accused of being a one-hit wiggle. A one-hit wiggle. What are your thoughts on bug snacks? Every taste is like a star going supernova inside my mouth. Creative energy like I've never felt before. Bug snacks are worth whatever price I have to pay, darling. What price is that exactly? Bug snacks are forbidden fruits, darling. I believe something exists to keep us from them. She will come for me one day, but not before I dazzle the world once more. Once more? Why'd you leave town, Wiggle? That's simple. I was following Gramble. He certainly knows his way around snacks. Are you using Gramble for his food supply? Goodness, no. I love Gramble. Goodness, I would never. No. He's far too sweet. Like a little strabby. No, I would never take advantage of him, no matter how easy it would be. Oh, jeez. Any info on Lisbert? Ah, oh, Lisbert. She and Egabel were big fans of mine. You know, I met them backstage at my first farewell tour. They didn't have passes, mind you. Liz climbed in through the air ducts. <laughs> but if somebody breaks the law out of love for my music, who am I to turn them away? Exactly. Does that happen a lot? Not nearly as often as I'd like. What happened to Lizbert? <gasps> that night, when Liz went missing, I ran into the woods looking for her. But instead, I found something terrifying, towering over the trees. The queen of bug snacks. Her screech was deafening, and I ran for my life. My life. What is this queen of bug snacks thing? Well, I can't be sure. All I saw was a menacing silhouette. But if Liz crossed paths with that, that thing, then I fear for her. Thanks, Wiggle. That's a wrap. Wiggle? Ah, I feel the warm glow of free publicity. <laughs> I know my story about the Queen sounds far-fetched, but I swear on my platinum record it's true. If you don't <laughs> believe me, go and see for yourself. Oh, now, cool. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got music to make. Wiggle gave you a map to Liz's last location. Check your journal for details. Alright, journal? I saw Lizbert looking down on camp from between the trees beneath the snow line. Wiggle. Okay. So we must we must have unlocked a new area. Oh yeah, up there now. Cool. Let's go up there. I bet you we can get bopsicles up here. Wow, 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 wow. But Sugar pine woods. Oh, look at these guys. Honeybees. <laughs> these snacks will stick to just about anything, including traps. Chanlo. I heard honey is sometimes used as medicine, so it's healthy. <laughs> Not exactly. 
Oh, what's that thing? A quookie. So fast that it evades capture, there must be a way to trip it up. Loves honey. Honey goop. The sticky glob of honey is evidence of a bug snacks. This bug snacks seem to appear dawn, dusk, or day. Alright, let's grab some of this honey. Oh, it's peanut butter, not honey. So we can probably put peanut butter in the path of that thing. Oh, I didn't switch to it. Put peanut butter there, see if it gets stuck. Oh, no. Hmm. Oh, look at that thing. <laughs> Cinna snail. Very slow, very sticky. It likes to stay far out of reach. Loves chocolate. Okay, so if we put that trap there and then splash some chocolate on it, should be able to get him like that. There we go. Cinna snail. What is that? A mallow patch. This gooey, crackery mess is evidence of bug snacks. Seems to appear at night. Oh, that's a quickie. What else is here? Honey goop. Looks like that can be cracked open. Hey, Raven. How you doing tonight? Oh, looks like we can hit that. What's this? Oh, another tape. Picked up a video diary. I'm doing good, thanks for asking. This is bug snacks. Basically, all the animals are snacks, <laughs> but also bugs. Like these guys are honeybees. <laughs> so it's like a honey stick, but they're bees. And then we have... Oh, what's that? Whoa! Well. Accidentally stepped on that thing. And currently we're looking for bopsicles. Which they might just come out at night, I'm not sure. I haven't seen one yet. Whoa. How do I get in here? Oh, what the heck? <laughs> a sprinkle pee. Maybe some sauce could get it to move. So it likes peanut butter and chocolate. So let's do the same thing that we did for the snail. We'll put that there. And then, oh, is that tipping over? Oh, it's fine. And then we'll shoot, shoot some chocolate. Hopefully make it come down. Oh. It is wicked fast. What the heck? Jeez, and it goes around like the whole map. Alright, let me pick up my trap again. Let me go talk to Chandlo. Snorpy? Snorpy! Bro, Snorpy, get out here! I'm sorry, Chandlo. I'm not coming outside. I'm this close <laughs> to finishing my next invention. Return to your lifting in peace. Snorpy, we talked about this, bro. You gotta go outside at least one hour a day. Gotta get some fresh air, dog. Yes, what I'll get is the attention of the Grumpinati. Who? The Grumpinati. There's nobody out here but us, bro. Better to work in the shadows when I cannot be seen. Also, it's cold out there. Bro, if you're not coming outside, I'm bringing the outside to you! <laughs> no, what? You cannot lift my entire house! Oh, yes, I can! I'ma lift your <laughs> crib, dog! 
Do not lift my crib, Chandlow. I have delicate instruments in here and... Lift in your crib, dog! <laughs> there, I'm out in the fresh air. And I can smell the chemtrails. <sighs> That's right, bro. One step at a time. Oh, it's you again. How's that sweet mountain air treating you, bro? It's easy to stay swole in paradise. Easy for me, anyway. I'm Chandlo Funkbun. <laughs> Funkbun. <With> wisdom and lifting. <laughs> I got the full package. You feel me? Will you come back to Snacksburg? Uh, I'm good. I mean, I like being in town, but it gives Snorpy mad anxiety. Why don't you talk to him? He's not good with strangers, so tell him I sent you. <laughs> All right, so if we can convince Snorpy to come back to Snacksburg, we can get both of them to come back. Chandlow sent me. Oh, he did, did he? My poor sweet Chandlow has always been too trusting. What is your business with me? Uh, anything I can do to help? Hmm, I'm not disinterested but you're still a suspicious individual i propose a test here take my newest invention yeah. the snack grappler i built it so that i could help chandler with his basketballing problem but i forgot that meant going outside so you do it and then maybe we'll talk you got the snack grappler switch to it I got this device from Snorpy. Nice dog. I knew he'd warm up to you. All right, follow me. Chanlo definitely skipped leg day. <laughs> I'm guessing he wants his basketballs. Check it out. My own personal dunk zone. Problem is, I lost my balls. They're stuck all over the place. I'm sure I could get them down without your help, but Snorpy made that grapple thing for me, and I want to see it in action. The Chandler's back basketballs into the basket. This one? What if I hit this hoop? I think it's a little. Oh, there we go. Oh. Oh no. I'll just put it, I'll put it in the normal one. There we go. Your balls have been secure. All right, you got my balls back. That grapple thing is awesome. I bet it can grab all kinds of stuff. Snorpy's a genius, bro. Check it out. There's a cinna snail right over there. I know it looks like a sticky dump truck full of carbs, but it's <laughs> actually a master climber. Even I can't keep up with it. I always wanted to climb like that. Hey. See if you can catch me that Cine snail, bro. Oh, whoops. Let me let me connect the other controller. Hold on a second. There we go. Oh, why didn't that catch that? Uh, 
try that. I'll have it come come to the chocolate first. Oh. I think it's letting me catch it because I already have one in my inventory. Let me feed this to him and then I'll try and catch it. Um, let's do his foot. Whoa! Oh, yeah, I feel stronger already. Watch me vert climb right out of here. Race you back to the cabin. <laughs> All right, let me see if I can catch this one now. Hmm. I'm not sure why I won't grab it. Whoa. Oh, okay. That's how we open that, that little area. Get back here. Alright, let's try and catch this donut again. If I bring him closer and then maybe grab him. Nope. <laughs> That's not how. Oh, maybe I can grab things out of here now. Oh, no. I can't go through the window. Oh. I guess I can. Um. I don't know where it just put that. Maybe that was the only thing I could grab out of there. It doesn't look like it put it in my inventory. Let's see if it fell down somewhere. talk to Chan though. I've escaped the dunk zone. Nice, you made it. You got back pretty fast for a newbie. Me, I got the same time I always get. I guess one bug snack isn't enough to push my limits. <laughs> There's got to be more cine snails around this mountain, dog. <laughs> dog. Get two more cine snails. All right. One right there. Oh, there's a um, uh, what was it called? The a popsicle, yeah. There must be a way to melt its icy armor. I wonder if we can shoot hot sauce at it. Oops, oh geez. Oh, it's too big for the trap, I think. Oh, jeez. Let me get some more of this peanut butter. Alright, we can open this space over here again. Or not again, but now that we have the tool. Oh, that's the, what we got. A trip shot. I didn't realize it put it in into the uh, like tool inventory. Let me just pull this open first. Can I just grab him? Oh, <laughs> guess so. All right, trip shot. What is this thing? if it goes through it. Oh. Let me 
me move it. Put it there, and then we'll have it over here. See if that's in the right position. Oh no, it's still too far. Nah, it's gonna- it's like it can't go in the grass. What is that thing? A Charmalo. Some water or ice could put it out. Well, it has a big path. Alright, and I think that's what the weakness was. Chocolate or peanut butter. So if I put peanut butter on this guy... That guy should burn out... So can I catch him now? No? Um... Oh, maybe I can grab him. Hmm. I'm not sure. What the heck? Oh, he split up. Okay, I see how to catch him now. And let's try and catch one of these guys also. We're gonna hit the lunch pad, put the trap on it, and then try and shoot the trap to him. Oh, but it catches on fire. So, it, oh jeez. Oh jeez. Stop, drop, and roll. Alright. <laughs> that didn't work. Let's try and catch one of these guys, though. Oh, missed him. Ugh. They move so fast, I keep missing them. Let me get this peanut butter again. And I'll move this a little closer. What the heck? Well that just completely missed him. Let me just grab this Cine snail. I'm not quite sure what the point of that is. Um, let me see if I place a trap. If I can like pull him into the trap? No. Let me see. Grabs distant traps and sauces, as well as bug snacks, that are stunned or vulnerable. Oh, okay. So they have to be stunned or vulnerable. How do I stun them? Loves chocolate. Can't really stun- If I hit him with something, will it stun him? No? Hmm. Well, I can catch him- like we did the first time. By just putting some chocolate on the trap. Might not have been close enough. There we go. <laughs> there you go, bud. Boom. Let's try and get one of these honeybees one more time. Oh, they're actually gone. Alright. Let's go into this cave.
Actually not sure where it comes out. But we'll send him in anyways. Alright, looks like he might start going up. Oh yeah, there he goes. Got him. What was that? A yellow peel bug. Good job, little strabby. Alright, we should be able to grab him. What did we just grab? Oh, it dropped it. Okay, so we can probably like throw this at him. Oh no. Hmm. All right, basketball. All right, here we go. We can stun him with this probably. If we can just hit him. Come on. Oh. Huh. It was showing like I was gonna hit something. Well, that didn't work. Let me get back up there. What would happen if I grab one of these guys? Nothing. Okay, right, let's look up here. Another big guy. Let's do the same thing we did. Oh, we got the Charmala. Alright, he's gonna split. There we go. Get him. All right, these people probably come out during the day. So we just need one more Sinna Snail. And then I want to get this, this donut. Let me see what it says again. Likes to climb high structures. Maybe some sauce could get it to move. Where'd the center go? Is there a sprinkle peed hole running around where? <laughs> All right, likes chocolate and peanut butter. Hmm. Oh, it's down here. Oh, that's the way. <laughs> that's the way we came. All right. So if we shoot some peanut butter, let's just go right there. Oh, not close enough for him. Was he asleep? What the heck? Chase him. say he liked peanut butter? Yeah, he loves peanut butter. I wonder, maybe they just sleep at night. But let me try it one more time. Yeah, it must just be sleeping. Missed him. Alright, let's focus on a... Oops. Focus on a Sinna Snail. one back there. That basketball is just rolling away. <laughs> just has a mind of its own. Oh, the Sinna Snail's back.
Oh, I'm out of chocolate. And that's the only thing they like. I'm not quite sure how to stun him. I think that'll stun him. Hopefully. Come on, buddy. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, so we can use the the trip trap to stun him. I still don't know what I was supposed to do with this rock. Alright, let's feed these two things to him. We're gonna do his foot again. Yeah. <laughs> Let's do... We'll do his leg again. <laughs> yeah! That's what I'm talking about! I can't wait to check my gains. But before that, I got a situation. Honeybees flew off with my backup balls. Now my balls are up in the sky. No matter how shredded I get, I can't fly. Believe me, I've tried. You gotta be my wings, dog. Master that grabber. Dog. Catch me those honeybees. <laughs> okay, now he wants honeybees. Ooh, a sauna. Or a, a hot tub, I mean. Alright, so we need to sleep till morning. We'll just use his bed. Although, what's this? Nothing. We'll sleep till noon. The honeybees should be out by then. <clears throat> there they are. Alright, is there a way to slow down these guys? We'll stick to just about anything, including traps. Okay, so if we did the trip shot... Oh, that goes so far. What the heck? <laughs> so I wonder if these guys will stick to this. <laughs> That's crazy. I just tripped it. Okay, let's um let's try the lunch pad again. I think that's the way to do it. Oops. Hit the wrong thing. No. Why does that keep activating? Oh. It's like bugged out. Let me move it over a little bit. What the heck is happening? What the? Oh. I just messed it up. <laughs> oh. We got one. Oh, we got two. I don't know how I just did that. <laughs> they all just like, just fell out of the sky. Alright, let's go give these to Chanlo. He wants to eat them. We'll do... We'll do his left and right hand. Gonna be. Gonna be. Yeah. <laughs> Gonna be hard to work out with those hands. My body's tingling. I think that's the power. <laughs> Bro, you really did me a solid. If you want me back in town, I'll be there. But I ain't going anywhere without my main dog, Snorpy. He'd be lost without me. I can't get Snorpy to leave, though. Whatever's keeping him here, he doesn't want to talk to me about it. 
Says it's a secret project. But I got a feeling he'll talk to you. <laughs> what do you want, Snorpy? Chandlo said you have a secret project? Ah, yes. I wish I could tell Chandlo everything, but knowing the truth would only put him in more danger. Anyway, you have my thanks for helping him. Perhaps I can trust you after all. I am all. Snorpington Fizzlebean, engineer and seeker of truths. Here, new chum, lean in close so that I may bestow a hug on you. Ah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> ah, what an excellent hugging experience that was. We shall have to do that many more times. Now, I need your help. Are you willing to risk your life for the greater good? I would die for you. Splendid! There is another device <laughs> you will need. I've hidden it inside the bug watch tower. Once you have it, I will tell you more. Oh, I already got ah, it, dude. One of those flying bug snacks has set off the tower's alarm system again. Although you seem to have avoided being trapped inside. Clever. All right. Return to me for the next phase of the plan. I think we messed it up. We were, we were supposed to be in the tower. <laughs> ah, chum. I have such a craving for cookies. Why, my craving is so terrible that I would like my teeth to be cookies. So oh, that geez. I may taste my own teeth, you see. <laughs> Taste my own teeth. All right, so we need one, so one more quickie. Be aware that the trip shot cannot attach to snow, snow, sand, or dirt. A minor design flaw, perhaps, but that's what I get for using suction cups instead of knives. All right, so he'll bounce off that, and we should be able to put a trap right here. The Grubbinati are using the cookies to trace my dental fillings. But if my teeth are cookies, the oh, no, but just stop them. will make my location untraceable. Okay. All right, so we have two. Let's go turn his teeth into cookies. Cookie. Huh. Ooh. Splendid. Oh, I, I no only longer have one. to worry about psychotronic torture or cavities. But now I hunger for charm mallows. Can't ever have enough charmallows. <laughs> charmallows. The charmallows give off an unusual signal. I believe they may be key to the Grumpinati surveillance system, though I'm not yet sure how. Their signal should be safely contained inside my stomach. And Whoa, Snorp Dog, you got the radio working? Let's put some jams on! They're, not now, Chandler. The radio is... <clears throat> I think the Charmellos come out at night. Oh, yeah. Okay, so I think those guys cool down by hitting the, the boomsicles. Yeah. Oh, no. I fell down. Go, 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 go. There we go. All right, he didn't say where he wants these, so I'll do I'll do his, his other leg. <laughs> All right, and the, his upper right leg. With that blind spot in place, I can safely return to Snacksburg. Meet me outside. Meet me outside. Hmm, this guy seems clear of danger. I suppose it's now or never. Whoa. Snorpy's ready to go? All right, dog, let's do this. In just a moment, Chandlo. You've been an invaluable Chandler. ally. I'm even tempted to call you a friend, but quietly so I'm not overheard. Bro, <laughs> if I didn't think it'd crush you like a tin can, I would hug the grump out of you. Oh, what the grump? Here it comes. <gasps> what expert <laughs> hugging that is. You do that hug. You do that hug. All right, let's get out of here. Race you back to town, Snorp Dog. No, please don't make me run with you, Chandlo. I'll go weak in the knees. If you're not up for it, I could always carry you. No, oh, no, that's quite all right. Your loss. See you back in Wait, town, bro. Chandlo. Oh, 
All right. So we can actually go do that old feet mission up on the top left because we have the boomsicles. Boom, 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 boom. Snacksburg. All right, let me just go straight to the desert. Give these booms or bopsicles to Prondo. Or turn his legs into, <laughs> into bop bopsicles. Scorched Gorge. Bum 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 Here you go, Prondo. Deal's a deal, friend. The bridge is yours. Some assembly required. Oh, cool. Oh, and so you know, Cromdomart is not responsible for any loss or injury suffered as a result of the use of its products. <laughs> if you need anything else, anything at all, please, please, please call your friend Cromdo. Oh, I'm already sweating. It's too hot. It's too hot. Cool, so we just got three more grumps back to Snacksburg. And we might be able to take care of these guys now. What if I grab them and put them in the water? Oh, I can't grab them. What if I trip shot them? Oh. We got them off the ground. Come on, buddy. We could try peanut butter. Nope. Hmm. Maybe I can't do that yet. Let's head back to Snacksburg, because there's probably quite a lot of people to talk to. And we can do those three interviews. New assignment, break time. What's up, Philbo? We've almost got everybody. You're doing a great job, buddy. But hey, don't forget to take care of yourself. In fact, maybe you should turn in early today and just relax. Good idea. Oh, jeez. Huh. Something's wrong, buddy. We better take a look. Yeah, we better take a look. We think this is... Befica. Befica, Gramble, what happened? Oh, we saw something real spooky walk right into town. I thought it was a grumpus at first, but, like, something about it was... wrong. Was this creature wearing a crown by any chance? Or was perhaps holding some sort of ceremonial dagger? What? No, no, nothing like that. It looked kind of normal until it... Oh, until it... It turned into a bunch of bug snacks and, like, scattered. What? Frankly, I find that hard to swallow. Ah, uh, what a load, Biff. Not enough drama around town for you lately, huh? Zonk off, Cromdo. Unlike you, I don't lie for a living. Oh, wow. So tell me then. What were you doing skulking around at midnight? Breaking skulking. into huts? Again? Uh, I've seen it too. And this time I know it's not just one of my nightmares. Get some grump and sleep, Gramble. I can't. Not with all of y'all around here with your hungry mouths. Don't take this the wrong <laughs> way, darling, but you are a bit high strung. A little beauty sleep would do you wonders. Maybe then you'd finally let us eat a few pets. You say that again. No, get off me. Stop. Whoa, hey, chill the grump out, bros. There's no need for all that. If what Gramble and Befica are saying is true, 
There's gotta be some physical evidence left behind. Yeah? Indeed. Yeah. We should sweep the perimeter and keep watch in case the creature returns. <laughs> Look at Philbo. Uh, good idea. Uh, buddy, do you think you can scope out the restroom? You know, find out what they saw? <laughs> of course. Oh, what is this? Messy paw-like prints lead from the garden to the outhouse. Bug snacks tracks scatter from where the grumpus tracks stop. Well, that's creepy. Scan the area for clues. Oh, some over here. Messy paw like prints. Rusty spade discarded near the sign. Smells like stacks. Ooh, a broken lock. Something got inside the ranch. To take all the bug snacks from the ranch? Whoops. Fell off the stairs. Alright, there's one more clue somewhere. I don't quite see it. Let me go on to the main room. Oh, no. Let me check this house. Nope. Alright, where is it? Do you guys see any sparkles anywhere? Need one more clue. Oh, there it is on this on the sign. No more bug snacks. Hmm. Talk to Philbo. Yeah. You found what you were looking for? All right, I'll call everybody together. Time for a reckoning. Well, w w what did you find? Something left a deadly message behind. Well, that's... Um, I reckon there's got to be some other explanation. Cram it, Wampo. We got a genuine monster on our paws. Hmm. Monster's a bit of a prejudicial term, don't you think? I'd call it more of a cryptid or undiscovered animal. It's no animal, darling. We're witnessing the queen of bug snacks in action. She's given us a warning! Oh, that is absurd. <laughs> Which is more likely, that a so far unseen giant bug snack politely left a note on our door, or that this is some form of coordinated gaslighting by the Grumpinati? What's more likely, dear, the is Grumpinati. that you've watched far too many movies. Well, at least my theory has scientific data behind it, whereas you haven't even drawn one chart. <gasps> I was top of the charts, thank you. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know what? Let's split the difference, eh? You're both wrong. Uh, what does it even matter? Whatever it is, it wants us dead. Between this and the earthquakes, Snacksburg's becoming pretty unlivable. I hate to say it, bro, but I regret coming down from the mountain. Me and Snorpy were a lot safer before we came back. Same goes for me and my little ones. No, you weren't, guys. No, we shouldn't split up again. We're better off if we're all here together. That might have been true when Lisbert was around, but those days are long gone. Y you don't know that. She might come back. <laughs> don't hold your breath, pal. Face it, Philbo. Without Lisbert, all we have is you. That's... that's... not true. Listen, I don't know why Lisbert put me in charge, but I do know this. None of you were really happy out there alone. We don't have Lisbert. We have each other. Maybe if we try, we could all add up to one of her. <laughs> I guess you're not wrong. So we're all staying in town then? Seems like it. As long as we can watch each other's backs. If we're gonna make it, we need everybody here. Floofty and Sheldar are still out there, and, and who knows if they're safe. If you must find Floofty, 
According to the tracking device I placed on them, they're out by Boiling Bay. <laughs> and the last time I saw Shelda, she was meditating in the sizzling sands. But don't forget about Egabel. If she's not with Lisbert, we gotta find her. We will, Chandlo. And once we do, we'll throw a big welcome back party. How does that sound? Now, let's go get some sleep. Interesting. The mystery continues. <laughs> What's up, Philbo? Find the other grumpuses, find out what they know, and convince them to come back to town. I think I can manage that. Till next time. I think some other people had some missions. Yeah, look at that. Befica, oh. To what do I owe the honor? Oh, um, I'm just curious what you think you're doing here. What am I doing? I'm working the counter. Cromdomart's back in business, baby. Don't act all innocent. If you start running scams again, I'll know. Yeah, yeah, because you know everything. And here's <laughs> what I know. You're not better than me, Beth. Nobody likes all you snooping around. Snooping. <laughs> I don't care what they think about me, as long as I make sure you get what you deserve. Don't I always? Are you going to buy something or what? Yeah, I'll take a tall snack water extra fizz. Coming right up. Extra fizz. All right, we can interview him. All right, I could use some practice. They'll be interviewing me every day when I'm a gazillionaire. <laughs> Start the interview. All right, who are you? Business King, <laughs> sales savant, future CEO of Starbucks, the one, the only, Crondo Face. Why come to Snack Tooth Island? You ever smell the future, kid? Huh? I can tell you, Lisbeth stank of opportunity. Stank. She came on TV <laughs> talking big about this new superfood, and I wanted in. So I quit my dead end job and followed that stench of possibility. What was your dead end job? Yeah, I used to go door to door selling gruel to grandmas, paid on commission for grump's sake. What are your thoughts on bug snacks? What do I think of? Delicious, irresistible, marketable. They're gonna catapult me straight to the top of Money Town, baby. <laughs> Money Town. Why'd you leave town? Yeah, I tried to make use of what Lisbeth didn't need anymore, and Befica didn't like that. Yeah, she went and told everyone that I'm a thief. What the heck? Weren't you stealing? I was salvaging. That's a mm. community service, pal. But Befica planted evidence in my hut, said I stole her diary. So I did what any honest grump would do. I ran. Any info on Lisbert? Oh, don't get me started. Everyone here thinks she's so great, such a fantastic leader. But I know the truth. She came here to stroke her ego and get Egabel her fix. The rest of us were just pss, disposable. Psh. Disposable? That's pretty cold. That's Elizabeth Megafig. When push came to shove, she abandoned us. What do you mean? I, I gotta confess, I was thinking about sailing home after things got hairy. But when I went looking for our boat, it was gone. There's only two grumps missing. You do the math. Do the I math. Bet Liz and Egg are living large in New Grump City by now. Hmm, calm down, Cromdo. That's enough for now. Yeah, 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 I get it, pal. I'm not the nicest grumpus around. I learned early on that life is like a box of trash. You always know what you're gonna <laughs> get. Box of Hooray. trash. Just go check out where the boat was. See what you think of Lisbon after that. All right, Cromdo give you a map to the boat. Check your journal for details. Check my journal. At the end of the boiling bay, past the shipwreck, Liz was definitely over there, you'll see. Oh yeah, and we also have this other video diary. Let's go watch that. Want something? Number four. Amusements. Come see me. We have 
work to do. Get out of here, Mr. Lucy. You're ruining my shot. What's wrong? There's something off about that. So quiet. Wolfie is not so bad. They're just passionate about science. Sure, science. I heard about their experiment, messing with your body. It's weird. What's weird about it? I mean, look at you. How many bug snacks have you had? Hey, in my professional medical opinion, I am perfectly healthy. <laughs> we're all eating bug snacks, and we're all fine. So why are you getting on my case? I'm just worried, Bill. You're not acting like yourself. You mean I'm not miserable. I found a way to make myself useful and happy to finally take some control over my life. Some control. And you're just upset because it doesn't involve you. I'm not upset. If you don't need me anymore, that's great. Go be with Floofy. Maybe I will. Jeez. All right, let's talk to everyone. Oh, hey, Han. Hello. How's your research? Oh, not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's um a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks. I want to follow in the writer's footsteps. So, uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you want to go exploring with me? Sure. Oh, you're too kind. The first place of note is in Flavor Falls. Meet me there whenever's good for you. <laughs> Meet Triffany in flavor. Oh, it just takes you right there. Okay. Flavor Fowls. Alrighty. What we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face and a bug snack called a pinkle. Let's look around. Scan a stone grumpus face and a pinkle. I'm gonna guess it's in the cave. Oh, that's the pinkle. Loves ranch dressing. Feed Trifney a pinkle. So if I hit it with ranch dressing, what's it do? Whoops. Oh, I have the trip shot now, so I can probably do that. Should walk in the in the path of it now. Loves ranch dressing. Alright. Come on, Pinkle. Come on, buddy. Pinkle, 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 pinkle. Go. Oh, what the heck? The sandwich uh, separated. How do I get up there? Oh, there we go. Huh. I don't know why they separated. <laughs> Fine with me. Alright, the pinkle go yet? Oh no, the pinkle's attacking the pickle. I mean the <laughs> the subapedes attacking the pinkle. I don't know why they can't get rid of the ranch. Rumpus face. Oh, I just walked through my trap. Whoa, where'd the pinkle go? Alright, Grumpus face must be it. Yeah, there it is. Oh, there's a pinkle. Have I caught that thing? Yeah, I think I have. Where I'm sure hit it. Right, let me take a picture of that. 
did they live in this cave? All right, scan a stone, Grumpus, and report to Trippany. So let's go report back to her. Oh, he's like out of his out of his case. There we go. I found the stone Grumpus. There would be the work of the ancient stone Grumps, a civilization from over five thousand years ago. All that's left to them is statuary and some puzzling mechanisms. Unlike the desert grumps, these folks didn't preserve their dead. In fact, the writer thinks they would sacrifice him to the bug snacks, like oh, an offering to the gods and whatnot. This means bug snacks may be a more lasting legacy than any of the stuff they built. Mm -hmm. All right, let's eat. Feed her this pinkle. pinkle. Let's do her nose. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a good one. You might have <laughs> noticed pinkle statues scattered around here. These must have been an important food source to the ancient grumps. That's everything, right? Well, I was hoping to find a camp of some sort, maybe a corpse or two. But oh well, there's plenty more spots to check out. Let's head back to Snacksburg for now. It's gonna take us there automatically. Nope, guess not. Okay, how do I catch these lollips? Latches onto snacks and traps. Oh wait, what's it like? I think that's honey or hot sauce. What was it? Oh, I don't have that. Alright, so we have to get basically what it's looking for. And then we can coat a bug snacks in it. Thanks for watching everybody. Don't forget on my about page there's a link to our Discord, my Twitter, and what else? My YouTube page. I upload all the streams to my YouTube page. And if we play more than one game in a stream, I separate the videos. So that it's just one game per video. And I also upload some stream highlights. So be sure to check that out and subscribe. If you wish. You stole Befica's diary, but it turns out it's a fake. <laughs> oh, there's a trophy for that. What's it say? Steal Befica's diary from her cave. Alright, let's go back to town. We'll put these bug snacks into the donation box. Snacksburg. Actually, let me just well get the people met. with missions, just in case I have some bug snacks on me that they need. Are you mad? Don't you want to find Lisbert? What if your name wasn't attached? Hmm. I suppose I can reveal a tad bit, so long as my identity is protected. Start the interview. <laughs> Who are you? <clears throat> I am Snorp Redacted. Mean. <laughs> I have devoted my life to inventing devices that foil the machinations of the Grumpinati. Why come to Snacktooth Island? I was dragged here by my dearest friend, Chan Redacted. He thought I needed some fresh air or something. Much as I hate the outdoors, I simply can't say no to him. How long have you and Redacted been in a relationship? Well, I, 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 I mean, we've been together since kindergarten. <clears throat> it would make perfect sense if we were together together. He's never said we are, has he? <laughs> That's cute. Found some punk snacks? I surmise they are some sort of synthetic life form designed to beguile our taste buds. If bug snacks are artificial, where do they come from? I'm so glad you asked. I believe there may be a factory located on this very island, hidden somewhere deep underground. I have charts. Hmm. Let me show you my charts later. Why'd you leave town? I was too exposed. 
Flufty tried to wrap me up in their experiments, now that Lizbert and Agabel weren't around to occupy them. I could see that this was the next step in the Grumpinati's plot against me. Grumpinati plot? Lizbert disappears, we are hit with an earthquake, we suffer a snack shortage, all that in one day. Do you really think those are all coincidences? The timeline is on my charts. Hmm. Any info on Lizbert? Elizabeth Megafig was a curious sort, and had a foolish bone in her body. She could rival me in wits, and chat redacted, blow an arm wrestling, <laughs> but we would share secrets now and again. Dreadful, terrible secrets. Terrible? What terrible secrets? <laughs> I'm not telling you the terrible secrets because they are terrible and secret. I think we're done here. Excellent interrogation, chum. So great that you deserve another hugging experience. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this must not go on the record. Elizabeth Megafig discovered something on the island that came to me for help. An entrance to the underground locked behind a strange device. I assisted her in unraveling its secrets, and soon after, she vanished. You must take extreme caution. I can tell you where to find it, but the rest is up to you. Oh, jeez. Snorpy gave you a map to a mystery door. Check your journal for details. At the end of book... No, that's... It was this one. Near the mountain peak, hang left from the trail and take a narrow ledge north. See attached map. I think the ancient grumpuses need to be fed first, but what do they like to eat? The pressure plates won't activate. Okay. We should probably head to Boiling Bay next. Alright, there's still one more person to interview. I think... I think Chanlo, right? Go on, oh. Charwi! Just follow Papa's pointer! Or, or don't! That's fine too! That's fine too! How's training? We're off to a bit of a slow start. Oh, it went so easy with Sprout, I just don't know what's going wrong now. Maybe... Maybe Sprout can help! I'm sure he could show Charwi the ropes! What do you say? Sounds good to me. Alrighty! Now just use Sprout to lead Charwi back to my barn. <laughs> okay. Come on, Charwi. Oh, I need to. Don't I need to hit him with chocolate? Yeah. Just happened there. Oh, Wiggles keeps hitting her. What the heck? Guess you can't go that way. ways off from teaching them to spell out we love you papa why i have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me but that's just the way it goes you pour every little bit of love you got <laughs> into her nose somebody in the back. and you just hope they notice all right look at that little guy oh my god oh you can pat him. All right, let's uh, let's donate all these guys. There 
There we go. Alright, we can interview Chandler. Ooh, gonna quiz me, dog? I'll crush your questions! Crush! Go for it. Who are you? Chandlo Funkbun. I lift. Lifting is a job? It's a way of life, bro. Anything that needs to go up. Logs, buildings, balls, Snorpy. I'll get him there. Why come to Smack uh, Smack Tooth? Snack Tooth Island. I want to push my limits. I gotta go somewhere extreme. I heard nobody comes back from this island. Sounds like a challenge to me. That's fine for you, but what about Snorpy? Hey, I'm always looking out for Snorpy. I know roughing it isn't his style, but there's no way I was coming here without him. How'd you two become a thing? I don't know what you mean, dog. We're like the sky and the sea. Been together since the dawn of time. Thoughts on bug snacks? Bug snacks are strong. Like a primal kind of strong. Like they own this place. And I gotta respect that. Why'd you leave town? Bro, Snacksburg was a disaster without Lizbert. I couldn't stop all the fighting with lifting or wisdom. I gotta keep things chill for Snorpy. He's got a lot of that social anxiety. Any info on Lizbert? Lizbert is top dog, you feel me? She really inspires me to test my limits. But, uh, that's about it. I'm really tighter with Egabel. Alright, what can you tell me about Egabel? Egabel's a sweetie. She was always looking out for me. Showed me how to stay safe while still pushing my limits. But she was always pushing herself way harder. She was working out? Yeah. She asked me to train her. <clears throat> Surprised the grump out of me, because she really wasn't built for that kind of stuff. We'd go running every morning and lifting after lunch. Though she would get real down on herself sometimes. But she never gave up. And I respect that. What happened to Lizbert and Egabel? I wish I could tell you. Those two were strong together. I can't think of anything that could take them down. They gotta be okay out there. Somewhere. Thanks, Chanlo. You really slam dunked my questions. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Bro, that's not... Just don't. Anyway. I recorded Egabel's progress while we were working out. She shared some pretty private stuff. Maybe it'll help you bring her back to us. Don't let me down, bro. Chandler gave you Egabel's chest key. Check your journal for details. Egabel. Let's go to Egabel's house. Nothing like a campfire. Ch what? Oh, hey, what are you up? doing in there, house? Chest key. Oh, number three. What else is in there? Medical supplies. Get out of here, Befika. And one thousand. You scoping my form, egg? Uh, eight. Uh, uh. Uh, hey, Egg, bro. Good workout today. Let's hit the showers. No. This is pathetic. Won't break yet. Oh, that's hard boiled, Egg. Who lit a fire <laughs> under you? I just need to get strong enough to catch my own bug snacks. No disrespect, but you've been hitting the snacks pretty hard already. Aw, not you too. No, no. I'm saying you aren't doing this for snacks alone. I can't help you if you're not honest with me. I'm just so sick of feeling Whoa. like an empty shell. I want to stop relying on everybody else. I want to keep up with Liz for once in my life. Respect. I know things are tough with Liz right now. But dog, she loves you. You 
two will be back to normal in no time. But I don't want to go back to normal. I don't want her worrying about me anymore. <laughs> when you love somebody, you never stop worrying about them. I know. And I'm worried about her, too. I just want to take better care of her. And that starts with me. Oh. I get that. And I will get you there. Thanks, Chamlo. And, uh... Ooh, maybe I'll hit the showers after all. I smell rotten. You. Alright, what are you doing, Befka? What's going on? was just looking for you. Now that Wiggle's back, Snacksburg is finally interesting again. I'm in the mood for some snacking and snooping. But like, everybody here gets all quiet when I'm around. But they trust you, right, bestie? So here's what I'm thinking. You dig up dirt on Wiggle and share it with me. And maybe I'll tell you something good in return. <laughs> It's not very nice. Find out what Wiggle does at midnight. Alright, let's sleep till midnight then. Uh, midnight. Oh, that was quick. <laughs> I thought it was gonna load. Okay, Wiggle. Um, I'm not sure what house she- oh, here she is. What are you doing, Wiggle? Trouble with your no, I'm following Wiggle. There. Shut it, Wambus. My little ones are just excited to see me. That's so. Bet it's easy to keep them in line. I what can't skip you, it. You really love bug snacks so bad. Go big or go home. You. Oh, go on back to your cactus, you old coot. There we go. She's probably eating bug snacks. Weevil, don't be shy. Come on, come on. She is. Weevil needs a midnight snack. Hey, darling, what are you doing here? Damn straight, I caught you. What are you doing uh, here? Well, I'm just looking to spend some time with Gramble. Alone. Hmm. Sure. Typical story. Ta -ta. Oh. We're, <laughs> we're stuck in here. How's it going? What are you doing, Grandpa? I'm locked up for the night. All right, you locked me in here. Oop. Hey All right, there. What are you doing, Grandpa? I hate to say it, but Wambus has a point. Bigger snacks means more to love. And they might be a bit smarter. Might respond better to my training, too. Please get me the biggest, snackiest bug snacks you can find. Please. Donate a praying picantus to Gramble and donate a scoopy banan scoopy banoopy <laughs> to Gramble. Alright. We can talk to Befica though. What's up? Wiggle hey broke into Gramble's barn. Well, this is OMG. awkward. She's right there. Sounds like Wiggle has a nasty habit. <laughs> I feel bad for Gramble. Those two just aren't gonna last. She's right In there. My old life, I would have killed to get dirt on Wiggle Wigglebottom. Uh, I used to take pictures for GMZ, you know. And whoever GMZ. else might be lying. What were you gonna tell me earlier? Oh, right. I almost forgot about that. It's easy to get caught up in nostalgia. Have you found any snack pods yet? They're the snack best pods. snack ever because they don't even move. But they're a little hard to find if you aren't observant like me. There might be some hiding by my old cave. And I know a certain Grumpus who might want some. Catch one crispy Rondo. snack pod. <laughs> All right. She said by our old cave, so let's go try that. See if we can find it. 
Whoa, where'd this boom box come from? Huh, I don't remember that being there. Alright, by her cave. Oh! There we go. <laughs> that was quick. Snickboard! Why is she always in their house? Oh, she's not. <laughs> Where is she? I saw a little bit of purple and I assumed it was her. <laughs> How you doing? Where is she? How's it hanging? Want something? You're doing all right. Where the heck did she? Oh, there she is, in someone else's house. Hey there. Like how's it always. Going? Take your snack pod. We'll do her left, right foot. Oh yeah. That's not gonna be too stable. Can't say I miss that cave, but I do miss these. Thanks, bestie. Ugh. Can't stand her. <laughs> Let's talk to this dude. Hey, hey you look like you're scheming. I got a business opportunity for you. I got a tip that Triffity found some sort of treasure map while she was digging around. They what? say it'll lead to a huge bunk snack. Imagine what a snack that size is worth. I was thinking of taking that map off her paws. That's where you come in. Get me a bunk snack so delicious that Triffany would die for it, and we'll trade. Then we'll split the profits 50 50. 50 50. <laughs> Did you say 50? I clearly said 50. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, catch care. a buffalo locust. Where were the buffalo locusts? I'm not sure. Let's What's talk to Chandler. You need help? Yeah, dog. I'm trying to pull up this stump so I can build a b-ball court. I'm about as swole as a grumpus can get, and I can't move this thing at all. I gotta be stronger than a grumpus. I gotta push my limits, you feel me? Push my limits. I feel you. Uh, I need your help to bulk up. If you go find the biggest, buffest bug snacks around, and I eat them, Maybe I'll gain their strength. <laughs> oh, come on, Philbo. Catch aggressive, meaty bug snacks. Oh, we could check the, um, the, um, bungle? Bungle, bungle, bungle. Yeah, the bungles. <laughs> they're aggressive. And they're hamburgers. I don't think that would fulfill that. Whoa, what is that thing? Dr. Sodi. It like- oh, it hates most of everything. What if I just put a trap right in the way? Should be coming back any second. Here it comes. some ketchup and then if I'm remembering right I shoot it into a wall and it knocks itself out Ooh. 
Huh, I'm misremembering how to do this. Let me retrieve that. Let me scan him again. Knocks away traps, it also tackles anything covered in ketchup. Oh, I got the, the new trap. I can do that. <laughs> there we go. It's a lot easier with the um, trip trap. I've caught a, I'm pretty sure I've caught a Frider. Frider, Frider. Didn't work. Oh. oh, it knocked him out up there. Oh, there's a snack pod. Come here, buddy. Snack pod. Snack pod. Boom. Sweetie fly, sweetie fly. Just get one more. Let me grab this ketchup while we're here. Try and fill up on it. I still need to catch a sweetie fly. There's something else though. Whatever's flying between the trees. I can probably hit him with the trip trap. sure how to get it. Bob Hopper hops from tree to tree, won't stop until it's shipped out of the air. Oh, there's another snack pot over there. Okay, we could try until it gets tripped out of the air. There's got to be a way. Oh, okay, I could do this. Put it over here. And then shoot all the way over here. That might hit it. Oh, I hit my own trap. Alright, that should work. What? Is it too low? I think it's just a little bit too low. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, what if I put it... I put it over here. And then try and shoot it over there. Oh no, it didn't work. Yeah, it's too low right there. Let me move it. Let's 
try and get it as high as I can. Let's try that. Oh, it's still too tall. Or too low, I guess. Yeah, it goes right over it. Alright, what if we tried... Putting that there. We just shot the... Shot the net up. When it's about to fly out. Maybe that'll trip it up. You're happy. Should be coming back now. Here it comes. Yeah, that's true. Maybe it knows. Hmm. Did any other bungers? So we need one more bunger. Alright, let me go to the other map and come back. So we can get one more bunger for the beef up mission. I've never sent uh, the buggy ball through here. I'm not quite sure where it comes out. Oh, right here. Let's see if he pushes out anything. Oh, he hit my trap, little brat. Oh no. Oh, messed it up again. There we go. Ruby peel bug. Alright, there's that weird door. Alright, let's go back and see if there's any bungers. Wow, wow. <laughs> Try and get it out of the air. Oh, I hit it! What the heck? He just bounced right back in the tree. That was ridiculous. Look at him there. Oh. Weird. It's too bad the trip shot, like, you, it's has a harder... You can't just place it wherever, you know? You can't just put it on the grass. Okay, we, get, we have a bunger again. So I can place the trap for that. There we go. Might be too low for that. Oh, no, we're good. Alright. Let's go bring these back to Chanlo.
All right, he might be sleeping. It's already 10 p.m. Oh, no, there he is. Chan Lo. Let's give him some bunger biceps. Oh. <laughs> there goes your big arms, dude. We'll give him bunger teeth. Whoa. Oh, that looks cool. <laughs> oh, yeah. You may not like it, but this is what peak performance looks like. Or, you know, <laughs> almost. There's no gaining without training, dog. I got a new exercise in mind if you're ready to spot me. Let's do it. I set up these hanging weights all around town. I'm going to jog around. You use your grappler to knock him down on top of me. That sounds dangerous. Maybe for you and Snorpy, but this is what I gotta do to challenge myself. Now get me to five weights. Let's do this, bro. <laughs> okay. Oh, he missed it. What the heck? Too soon. Hey, oh, I was like stuck on something. That was weird. Oh my god, this timing. There we go. Oh. There we go. That's heavy, bro. Oh. Oh, he's like stuck. Come on, dude. Don't mind me, I'm just gonna put these right here. How you doing? Excuse me, bro. How's it going? Well, I don't know if we can do this mission. <laughs> he's stuck. Um, all right, let me leave the map and come back. <laughs> You're just stuck there. You lose progress on your current... I mean, I guess we have to. He <laughs> He's stuck in that little, that little nook. All right. Go back and try it again. That was weird. Where is he? Let's go try that again. There he is. Uh, what was that about exercise? I, I got a new exercise in mind. If you're ready to spot me. Let's do it. I set up these hanging weights all around town. I'm going to jog around. You use your grappler to knock him down on top of me. Maybe for you and Snorpy. But this is what I got to do to challenge myself. Now get me to five weights. Let's do this, bro. <laughs> oh, didn't have the tool selected. Wiggle, 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 wiggle. More weight. Aloha. Oh, I missed that one. Oh, he turns that corner so quick. We're not getting that one. Keep him coming. Ooh, that's heavy, bro. More weight. Ooh, that's heavy, bro. Oh, we did it. <laughs> he looks ridiculous. Hello, How do you feel? I feel swole, dog. <laughs> now let's see what you got, Stump. Oh, Grump. I think my bicep exploded. But that's okay. <laughs> I just gotta rest up and keep training. With this bug snack body, I'll get there. Because if I don't, who's going to have Snorpy's back? Still stumped? Yeah, bro. I'm not getting any stronger. I wasn't pushing hard enough. Maybe it's the bug snacks. We went way too small, you feel me? 
I've been hearing you feel rumors me? about this monster snack out in the forest. Wamba said it was so huge, no Grumpus alive could lift it. Sounds like the ultimate workout. Let's catch it, bro. Let's do it. Ah, uh, yeah. Meet me in Flavor Falls. <laughs> Flavor Falls. <laughs> All right, what are we doing today, Chanlo? Just thinking about that buff snack is getting me pumped. Snorpy keeps telling me it's okay if I can't oh. listen to this stuff. I feel that. I love him for it. But he just doesn't get it. Doing this for him, the world will crush you if you let it. I gotta be strong enough to keep him safe from all that. Oh, are we going through the doors? What the heck? Whoa, he just opened them. There it is! Wembus wasn't kidding. That snack is huge! All right, you big bug! Here comes the Chandlo Slam! <laughs> Oh, jeez. A wee melon. Breakable statues, brittle and easy to smash, and conveniently built beneath a stalactite. The sharp stalactite is surprisingly loose. It would certainly drop if grappled. Mama wee one. This massive snack protects its offspring at all costs. Try to get it to drop on it. Alright, I'm guessing... Grab one of these guys. Or not. Alright, I see what we need to do. Put a trap here. It's gonna hit that. And then we grapple the stalactite down. Right. And we do the same thing. I'm just gonna grab as many of these as I can. Mama, we went. How many times do I need to do this? Oh jeez. What the heck? That was a close one, dog. That snack is on a rampage. I got an idea. I'll distract the mama. You get the drop on her. <laughs> it's so small. Mama, Mama meme one. That one. Thanks, bro. That one. <laughs> that bug could have killed me. It was way strong, dog. And once I eat it, I'll be just as strong. Feed him. Ow. Oh, definitely the nose. Yeah. <laughs> I was hoping I'd get twice as big or something. No, I'm just the same Chandlo. And Chandlo isn't good enough. I spent my whole life climbing a mountain. And once I got to the peak, all I saw was a taller mountain. Bro, 
Even if I could rip out that stump, I couldn't stop an earthquake. There's always going to be something bigger than me, stronger than me. Snorpy's always going to be in danger. Hmm. Good life lesson there. All right, back to Snacksburg. Go we'll put in this me wellin. Uh, jeez, I can't. Me ones. <laughs> These wee melons. Bunger, bunger. I like all these little side missions. They're pretty cool. Alright, let's deposit all these little guys in here. Size of your- oh, my, my inventory got bigger. Cool. Trophy? What's that one? Donate the max amount of bug snacks to Gramble's Ranch. Oh, cool. So there's like no reason to donate now. Gramble's sleepwalking again. Let me sleep so it's morning. Or noontime. <laughs> there we go. How's it going? Going good, Philbo. Going good. Oh. Side mission with Wiggle. Need something, Wiggle? If you're not busy, darling, I could use a helping paw. It seems like your run-of-the-mill bug snacks aren't getting my creative juices flowing. I need something, oh, spectacular. I overheard Wambus talking about a sandopede, a snack made of many pieces working in harmony. That may be just what I need. Okay. Catch two sandopedes. Sandipedes. Have I caught those before? Sandopedes. Oh, it's these guys. It's the... It's the head of the subapede. Okay. So we can go do that. I don't know why that thing still has a mark over right it. There. Please get me the biggest snack. Oh yeah, his mission. Let's go see if we can wrangle up a standipede. Sweetie fly, sweetie fly, going as fast as he can fly, sweetie fly. There we go. There's always one sandipede here. All right, and we we can probably trip it up with a trip shot if I put it here and right there. And probably wait till it comes back. Catch a rootle while we're here. Doo -doo, doo -doo. Here he comes. Boom. I think we got all the pieces. Go back and give these two the wiggle. Wiggle wiggle what? Whoa, bunger. 
Bongo, bongo, bongo. Oh, he has something for us too. Alright, where are you, Wiggle? There you are. Hello, darling. Stand up. Let's do her upper legs. Wow. Stand up. Oh. I can feel the harmony building within me, <laughs> but I'm still not quite there. I'm oh, geez, sure Wiggle. this seems excessive, but it's just, it's the, it's the creative process. Do you know how I wrote Do the Wiggle? Hard work and practice? I stumbled into the studio two hours late. I hadn't slept in five days, and I was holding a banjo for some reason. I couldn't remember my own name, much less what I was going to sing. So in my haze, I just made it up on the spot. Two weeks no later, way. I had a platinum record, and apparently I'd invented banjo pop. Needless to say, it's been a hard act to follow. <sighs> okay. All right, let's go talk to, I forget his name, this dude, Evening. Wombus. Nothing yet. Think something might be wrong with the soil. Too dry or maybe too wet. Either way, something needs fixing. Why don't you fetch me a big old fibrous bug snack, like a spuddy? I got a plan. <laughs> Catch a spuddy. Let's go. I can use the trip shot to get him, probably. Or the, the trip trap, I mean. Oh, what's that thing? Oh, the sweetie fly. Okay. Come get me, buddy. Must just be walking in a circle. There we go. Spidey boom. I still don't know how I'm gonna manage to catch. Oh, the bridge is back. Just got done fixing up the old bridge. Thanks, bro. Would have done it sooner, but Cromdo wanted me to pay him for the rights of repair. What? Whatever that means. Anyway, no need to thank me. Just go find Shelda, all right? Okay. Cool. So we can head out that way, but first let's go back to... Go back to Wambus. Give him this, buddy. Oh, I see you up there. Snipboard. I'm sure once we give him this buddy, he's going to want something else. Tiffany, hello. Hey, buddy. Doing good? Wambus, you oh. heartless monster. Stop burying the little ones. You mind your own business. Besides, I thought you wanted more bug snacks. You know that's not what I meant. And that's not going to work anyhow. That's so. Well, you go and let me know when your pets are expecting. I will! Oh, she wants something again. Alright, here you go, Wambus. I got your spuddy. Oh, that's not for me. No, you go and feed that to Philbo. Then, hold up by the outhouse for a spell. When his business is done, gather up the Fertilizer. Fertilizer? You know, uh, night soil. That's lace, disgusting. 
Spud cruds. Come on, don't it's make poop. me get crude now. All right, let's go give it to Philbo. Hey, buddy. Let's eat. Spud. Give him Spuddy uh, teeth. Oh, <laughs> thanks for the gift, buddy. Though suddenly I'm feeling nature call. Sorry, gotta go. Let me watch. Okay. Hey, what the? Philbo. Philbo. I need that poop. Give me the poop. Oh. He just pooped in a bag? What the heck? Philbo. That was a lot of poop. I did not feed you that much of a spuddy. What else you eating? Everything okay? I got your fertilizer. Ooh wee! That stink could raise the dead. Whew. That's bound to be potent enough for my soil. Thanks, stranger. Boom, boom, boom. All right. Rondo. Wiggle has something Hi. again. Hey, Hello, darling. How goes the music? Darling. Are you ready to help me top the charts? Triffany told me about a bug snack in the desert that only appears during the full moon. A creature oh. in tune with the cosmos. Something that beautiful must also be significant, no? Catch one white sheep hoof. I've caught one of them before. Oh, Befika needs something again, hey, too. Hey. Hey there, bestie. We've got a new target. Cromdo's back in town. I know that greedy crumbag has some juicy dirt. <laughs> the greedy I'm not talking crumb about bag. his pathetic little lies or scams either. I'm sure you'll find something good. Don't let me down, bestie. <laughs> All right, find out what Cromdo does at midnight. So let's sleep till midnight. What the? I think it might have bugged out. <laughs> Rondo? What are you doing, bud? <laughs> Sleep. Oh. All right, we're gonna have to redo that. <laughs> he like bugged out. Sleep till midnight. Try that again. Maybe if I look through the window. Wake up, Cromdo. No, what do you do? There you go. Go that way. What are you up to? Are you eating bug snacks at night also? No? Sleep until Bethica. You want something? Yeah, I want to sleep. Oh, 
Oh wait. We could probably get the go get that white uh chief poo. Cheese poo? Chief poo? Cheesy poo? Forget what it was. <laughs> white chief poo. So we need a launch pad. We need a trap. Oh no, he's gonna shoot it. Oh, that was a close one. Alright, let's grab this. And back to Snackville. Or <laughs> Snacksburg. And then we'll sleep till it's a little later. We'll just do noon again. Finish her task, unless Befica's right there. Yeah, I don't know where Befica is. Oh, there she is. Where are you going? What the heck? Are you pooping? There's not as much fiber in those bug snacks like you think there are. Oh. Rondo is quite the singer. He's always so jealous of Wiggle. Why would he even hide that? It almost makes him kind of likable. All right, now we can give her a white cheap poof. Hey there. Cheese. Where should we do it? I'm thinking either her nose or her teeth. Nose or teeth? What should we do? Hmm. I think teeth. We'll do teeth. Why not? Oh, you even like fangs. <laughs> the ballad of a generation. All I have Jesus. so far. It's a work in progress, but what do you think? That was great. Don't patronize me, darling. The truth is written all over your face. I don't know why I bother. I know I don't have any real talent. My whole career was an accident. <sighs> Sorry, oh, darling. That's not nice. I need to be alone for a while. And talk about yourself like that. All right, who else? Who else has problems around here? Ah, oh. I'm just saying, uh, maybe uh, your whole premise is flawed from the get go. If bug snacks aren't like plants, then no amount of elbow grease is gonna make this work. Trippy, I thought you were here to support me. Oh, uh, I am. It, it's just, um, you keep trying this over and over and. One of these days, you gotta pack it in. <sighs> so I'm on my own. Well, if that's how you choose to look at it. Oh, here's another mission. What's up, Wombus? Any luck so far? What does it look like? <sighs> I'm sorry. Calm down. I'm just about at the end of my rope. I'm done taking it slow. Just give me every sort of bug snack that digs underground. I reckon it might aerate the soil or something. Will that really work? Oh, I must look mighty foolish sticking to my guns like this. But you don't give up just because things get tough. If nobody else believes in me, I gotta believe in myself. It's that or... or nothing. <laughs> All right, plant a snack query in the garden. Add an inchorito, add a sherby. Snackery? I think it's a snackery. All right, we can catch one of those. Those are the things that jump out of the ocean on the beach.
To the beach. It's these things. So actually what we could do, we could do a launch pad. Put the snack trap on it. Oh, it's gonna fall. Do it a little better. That was horrible. <laughs> Let me grab that. Got it. Okay, we got a snackery. An inchurito inch and a sherby. I don't know if I've seen those yet. Oh! Come back here. Boiling Bay. Oh, this is the way to Boiling Bay. Well then. Guess we're going to Boiling Bay. Boiling Bay. Excuse me while I take a sip of water. Here we go. Where'd that noise come from? Alright, we've caught one of those before. It's still chasing me? Oh, it is. A noodler bathes in pools of lava. They can't be put out while in such a hot climate. Okay. Flaming cheap <laughs> flaming cheap new, 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 new What are these things? Oh, oh, oh I'm on fire. Oh no. Alright, so they it can't be put out of out of fire in this climate, so I guess... Oh, what's this stuff? Oh, just more hot sauce. Oh! La soda. that green thing right oh it's a, a green crab green crapple and there's like a chest over here treasure chest seems as if it's already been looted oh there's eyes in it what the heck which way is this thing coming oh it's coming up here Man, the trip trap is amazing. Grapple. Grapple. A red bin offer. The trip shot sh could be useful here. Okay, so it's saying the trip shot. So let's try that out. Put it up here as high as we can. Still too high. Let's try and go as high as we can. Oh. Oh, I didn't get it. Try a little lower than that. 
Oh, there we go. Oh. Let's see if that makes it go to the trip shot. No. I don't know how to catch these guys. Hmm. Weird. Oh. This guy likes something. Alright, let's retrieve that. I think there should be something about, um... The person we're looking for out here. Forget her name. Liz, that's what it was. You picked up Liz's notes on a secret code. Check your journal for details. Secret code. Then right, then... S okay, so it's this. So first left, then right, then center. And after that, push down hard on all three. That should get a response. Okay. So we found that. What other bug snacks are around here? Oh, what's that thing? A sh oh, a Sherby. That's what we need. Oh, jeez. What the heck? Oh, I can't pick him up because he's cold. I guess. Chip, 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 chip. Let's try it again. Maybe I got just got too close when I was trying to pick him up. Yep. Yeah, so he's too cold. Okay, so we have to warm him up somehow. Probably with the lava. What about the buggy ball? Can he survive in the lava? Let's, we'll pop this here, and we'll bring Strabby over here. Don't go through the trap. And then we'll bring Strabby over when he's um, on fire, and hopefully that'll melt the, melt the sh sh Sherby, whatever it was. All right, hurry up, Strabby, go. Go, 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 buddy, go. What? Now I'm on fire. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. This has been bungled. We bungled it. Sherby, this way. Sherby. I guess it's... Oh. Oh, we did it. Cool. Shabby? You took your precious time getting here. Doofty. Any longer and my leg might have rotted away. Come, mm -hmm. let's finish our work. Will you come back to Snacksburg? Absolutely not. I'm on the verge of a breakthrough. Now assist me or be gone with you. Breakthrough. What is your desire, oh great Floofty? Ah. Always a question worth asking. Preparations for my grand experiment are nearly complete. Soon we will see if we can amend my ambulation. But for now, simply transform my arm into a red banopper. A red banopter. Ah. I have to pick up the uh, the banopter from there. I just don't know how to how to get them. It says use the trip trap, but I can never seem to get it high enough. Or the, the trip shot. Oh, it is called the trip shot. <laughs> I thought it was the trip shot. Um, 
Oh, I need to retrieve it. Just a second. Alright, how high can I put this thing? Alright. Alright, that's pretty high. I think that's as high as I can get it. And he just skates right over it. Interesting. It's just, he's just like right over it. Alright, he likes peanut butter and chocolate. Peanut butter and chocolate. So if we hit this with peanut butter... I don't think that means he'll just run into it. Yeah, that's weird. Oh, but that guy likes peanut butter. <laughs> just catch him. Alright, so that's definitely not the way to do it. So let's retract that. What if I shoot it in the actual tree? I wonder if that'll stun him. No? Oh! What if I shoot it as he's flying? I think he just went through the beam there, so... Go! No. That should be high enough. Hmm. Maybe I can just shoot it at the tree. Do here. Let's see if you can actually put put this on the lunch pad. Maybe. Okay. And then what if you just shoot it into a tree? No, that was not correct. <laughs> um... Huh. What if we shoot it up as high as we can on this tree? Uh, I was hoping it would stick. Oh. Can't get it to come out for anything. Maybe the buggy ball. You go over there, bud. And then we'll hit it with some peanut butter. Nope. Doesn't care for that either. What if I shoot myself up into a tree? No.
And I guess I can try and put it up on this tree instead. Okay, there we go. That's pretty high. That's going to be too low. Ugh. This frickin' thing. Alright, we need to move this. It's too high, so it's hitting the, the branch right above it. Oh, and I actually can't reach it. So let me retrieve that. We'll put it just a little bit lower. Ooh, that might be... Oh, there we go! We did it! So that is how, so I was doing it right, I just needed to get it in the right position, really. A red banopper into just one of her hands. We'll do her left hand. Some left handed. Excellent. That is one more thing I must do. Hand me the snack debater. The old Hand snack debater snack was debater. worthless scrap. I have updated it. It is now capable of altering snack matter through a process of sonic anamnesis. <sighs> My body remembers what I eat. The snack activator can change snackified limbs into anything I've ever eaten. Use oh, that's cool. It. Change my arm from Bonapper to Strabby. <laughs> okay. Snack. Snack spearmint. Strabby. Are you amazed? You've seen nothing Quite. yet. If my hypothesis is correct, the bug snacks can remember the shape of my body. It is time to test that hypothesis. Use the snack activator on my missing leg. Oh, that's wild. Um, we'll do we'll do the banopper. Whoa. Oh, it wants it into a strabby. Sorry. Aha! Uh -huh. My leg is back. Bug snacks can cure the sick. Revitalize the frail. This discovery will reshape the world. That's to think wild. Elizabeth and Agabel walked away from that. <laughs> Pathetic. <clears throat> but I refuse to dwell on personal matters while there is yet more work to do. Use the snack activator again. Transform my limbs into cocomites. Cocomites. <laughs> the cocomites. I have to find one first, I guess. Cocomites. Oh. Get out of here, guy. I'm sick of you. I knocked him out. Oh, yeah, I need to. Okay, can we just grab one of these guys? Is this a Cocomite? Cocomite husk. It'll take powerful force to crack this bug snack shell open. Okay. Can I throw it at this guy? Oh! Oh, stop launching stuff. Oh, there he is! Whoa! Hail Toss Grande. Go, go, go! Palitos. Greater Cocomite. Cocomite. 
Lesser Kokomite. Coco? What are you doing, guy? <laughs> Alright, what's he like? Loves chocolate. So, we can trip shot him. Come on, guy, stop it. Nope. <laughs> Stop it. Oh, it's way too high for him. Stop following me, you creep. Oh, did I activate it? Well, she is. Come on, bud. There you go. Halfway there. Catch 50 unique species of bug snacks. Cool. Alright, let's feed her a Kokomite. Feed her the lesser. Yum, yum, yum. Up the nose. And then snack spearmint, lesser kokomite. We can change her limbs. Oh, but it has to be on the limb that you've changed. Oh, oh, interesting. Unbelievable. So you can't just feed someone one thing and then change all their limbs from that. You have to change Can a limb that's already been changed what has happened this means that all bug snacks are one and the same each one could change into any other with the right stimulus and now that is true of me now use the snack activator to its full potential i want limbs of noodler cocomite banana and strabi all at once okay red banana <laughs> Look at that nose, that's ridiculous. And Strabby. Turn Flufty into Noodler. So I need a Noodler. Do I even know what a Noodler is? What's that thing? A Golden Queeble. Come back, Weevil. Oh, why didn't I catch him? There we go. Just had to wait a couple seconds more. Golden Queeble. Oh, the Noodler were the, the things in the lava. Oh, I have to get this guy out here. Follow me, bud. Oh, jeez. Oh, my God. Well, that didn't go to plan. Let's try and trip shot him. Whoa! Whoa! He just picked it up and threw it at me. What the heck? I'm not sure how to get that noodler. He's gonna blow up. Oh, he didn't blow up. What the heck? Alright, what are noodlers like again? Hot sauce and whatever that yellow is. So can I have them follow me out? We knocked him out. It's gonna be too hot to grab. Yeah. Alright, so we can have them follow the hot sauce out. 
Whoa, he picked him up. Come on, Noodler. Nope. Come on. You love this stuff. I have enough. No, come back. Only have one more. No, shit. Stay there. Oh. Get the hot sauce. Oh, that's a quicker way to get out. Let's go out that way. Alright, come over here, bud. Retrieve this. No, 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 no. I need a way to freeze him. Yeah, because I can't pick him up right now. It just sets me on fire. Well. Yeah, and I caught all the popsicle guys, so I don't have a way to. Um freeze him so that he's not on fire anymore. Pick up that chocolate. Yeah, he's just gonna- whoa! Oh yeah, the hot cheesy poof. Pick up some more hot sauce. I bet there wasn't an easier way to cool these guys down. Oh, he respawned. So I can bring that noodler back out and have him attack it. And hopefully that'll cool it down. Alright, come on, noodler. What are you two guys doing? Get over here. Far. Oh, I went by where I needed to go. Did he cool it down? Oh, he did. Grab it, grab it. Oh, yeah. Get away from me. Paletos. Alright. Let's feed her the noodler. Noodle. Yum, yum, yum. Let's put it on her hair. Intriguing. Oh, it just makes it a bowl. <laughs> I have learned much. Despite your general ignorance, you have been of use to me. Good job. No matter how many bug snacks I become, my body feels no different. Is there a threshold of crumpusness? When every cell of my body is bug snacks, will I remain floofy fizzle bean? Or will I simply be bug snacks right down to the taste? I must find out. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. The answers won't come to me without further testing. However, I have exhausted my research here. 
I will experiment on Snacksburg. You mean experiment in Snacksburg? <laughs> I look forward to working with you further. Oh, she's going to Snacksburg. Cool. All right, let's go back to Snacksburg and I'm gonna deposit all these snacks. Although no, I need to I need to plant the snackery in the garden and add the sherby. And then we just need to find the chorito. Actually, is there can you fast travel from the map? No, you can't. Snacksburg. All right, let's go plant these things. How you doing? And then we just need an inchorito. Let me put these guys in here. why there's a icon above oh no yeah I don't know why there's an icon above it all right eight seconds ago that should be fine that's gonna be the end of the stream thanks everyone